we're interested in making new materials that can uh, produce energy from sunlight. We're interested in, in materials that split water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen is then a fuel source that you can store, transport, use in, in various ways. So certain materials do this and there are certain shortcomings of most of the materials that currently exist to do this. We're interested in making new artificial materials that will do a much better job of this and this is Aaron's project for this summer. We're doing the first step of growing a new material. So what I have here is our, uh, my sample affixed to the bottom of a heater and we're loading it into our RF magnetron sputtering deposition chamber, which we'll then pump down to vacuum uh, and begin the growth process, which will deposit our new finely layered material. So this is for the second stage of our process, and this uh, is our X-ray diffractometer, where basically with very careful positioning of our sample uh, relative to the position of an incoming X-ray beam, we can measure the crystal structure of our samples. Step three occurs in our dark room, where we'll be performing chemical reactions under controlled illumination. So what happens is when light hits our sample, very tiny flecks of silver start to appear on the surface, but these are far too small to see with the naked eye, so we need specialized equipment, uh, which brings us to our final step. For step four of my experiment, uh, I'll be working in the AFM lab, where I'll be using an atomic force microscope to measure the surface of my sample. Since I haven't gotten to this part of the experiment yet, I'll be taught for the first time by Benjamin Bine, who's a graduate student who I work with in the lab on a daily basis. Participating in the science program now for a few years is a very exciting program. You get to get some really talented students in your lab. That works really well for them. They learn how to do interesting things. They usually get some research done, um, so it actually helps our research program. It's also very good for the graduate students to learn how to mentor a student and do that. Aaron took my course um, last year and he really stood out as one of the, um, the best students there so when he asked if he could work in my lab I was without hesitation. I said please come in we're gonna get, get, get going on this project.